Lesson number eight, procrastination. Procrastination is the number one enemy to all men. Most of us believe that we're going to do it tomorrow. Most of us believe that if we just wait until the opportunity is right, that it's going to happen. But believe me, you, that is the worst thing that you can do. When you have a goal, or you have an idea, or you have a plan, the best time to act is now. You must act now. You cannot procrastinate. To give you an example, I know a farmer. You know, my father's from Mississippi. It was a guy that lived down the road from us. He was a farmer. He had a lot of land. He had many acres. He had a lot of land that was just ready to be harvested. And he had a outhouse. And in this house, it was like a little storage house. He had all type of seeds. He had apple seeds. He had corn. He had cotton. He had all these different seeds. And we used to always go down there when we would visit Mississippi. Out from Mississippi, we would just look at all these seeds. But when we looked at his land, he had a whole lot of land that was unproductive. Nothing was going on. He just had a lot of land. And we used to just look at all the land because, you know, we've seen, you know, we have 80 acres of land. My father, you know, the Ivies, we have 80 acres. So, you know, my family plant corn, you know, we plant cotton, you know, we did all type of tomatoes and so on and so forth. But this guy down the road, not him. He just had a shell or, 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 or like a, a, a big old storage full of seeds. And what happened was the guy eventually died. And then his son came along and his son planted those seeds. And then years later, when we come down there, this guy had this beautiful, you know, just array of different type of garden, all type of stuff. Now, what was the difference between the son and the father. Well, the son understood that the seeds were worth nothing if they wasn't planted. You can have all the seeds in the world. You can have all the knowledge, all the game, all the wisdom. You can have everything. But if you don't use it, if you don't apply it, it means absolutely nothing. So the son was able to benefit from the father's lackadaisicalness, from the father's laziness. When you're lazy and you don't have no get up and go about yourself or you're always putting things off to tomorrow or you can't uh, do it now because you got to carry the baby over here or you got to go and do this over here, you got to do this, da 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 Excuses, excuses, excuses is what calls most people to fail. Procrastination is the number one cause of failure in the world. Do not put off what you can do today until tomorrow. The time to act is now. If you want to be successful, you have to go out there. You have to plan. You have to be motivated. You got to have a burning desire. You got to have a creative imagination. You got to just go out there and do it, baby. You can't wait. You can't wait till tomorrow. Because tomorrow is not promised to you nor me or I. How many people you know who had good ideas that you said, man, that dude was cold. That dude was sharp, man. And the dude ended up dying because he never took that first step. He never took action towards his goals or his plans. And that's what procrastination is. It's called the lack of ambition, the lack of will, the lack of desire. You know, you have to have a purpose in life. And when you have a purpose, and we have a plan, and we have a goal, you have a creative imagination, and you're persistent, and you have self-confidence, you're able to move accordingly. So my message to you today is to get up off your ASS and do something. Be motivated. You know, if you want to play basketball, go get a basketball and play it. 
If you want to start a business, go get you a book, read about business. After you read about it, you find out everything you need to know about the business. Then you go out there and you start the business. But don't sit back and become a couch potato. Don't sit back and just watch everybody else do things and wonder what should you do. So, if you didn't learn anything from this message, just learn this. The time to act is now. No more procrastinating. No more putting things off. The time to act is now. And if you want to be successful, not only do you, do you need to go get my book, Pimpology, The 48 Laws of Game, or do you need to go get this book, The Art of Human Chess? So I want to give you the opportunity to go get my book, The 48 Laws of Game, Pimpology. Hey man, this is a classic. Everybody loves this book. All you got to do is go to audiobook.com, type in my name, Pimpin' Ken, and the book will pop up. And if you want to get my other book, The Art of Human Chess, you want to learn strategy, you want to learn about finesse, you want to learn about maneuver, Go to the same place, audible.com. Get my other book, The Art of Human Chess. It's a classic. Both of them are classics. People love these books. This is the book that everybody is talking about. It's a classic. And while you while I have your attention, make sure you like, subscribe, or share this video. That's the only way we can get our game up. You got to share, like. And if you want to leave a chat, a super chat, that's cool. Bow, bow. Mike Fresh checking in this thing. You hear me? Shout out to the HHF Ugly Money Awards. You know what I'm talking about? Yeah, your boy nominated. Appreciate y'all for that nomination, man. Shout out to Villa Boy Mike K. Fresh. Shout out to Pippi King for pulling up on What's up, man? We out here, man. Hey, HHF Ugly Money Awards, man. Slide down. As long as it Come on now. Hey, April 7th, Ugly Money. We told y'all, man. We already smashed last year. Ugly Money Hip Hop Summit was a talking about a movie we went all the way up there with this year hip-hop fraternity they combine it like i told you ugly money and you already know king futuristic futuristic leland mr put that stuff on you feel me we'll be headlining futuristic love pimp and ken thank you for the opportunity ugly money you know we coming to tell the stage of april 7th y'all know where y'all need to be king lingo Hey, say what's happening, man? T.I.P. the King, good. Hey, listen, man. On behalf of myself, Grand Hustle, I accept the HHF Awards. Hey, thank you to Ken and all of the pimps and players that uh, had a hand in this award. You hear what I'm saying? Appreciate y'all. Ugly money, everybody. All the money. You understand? Appreciate y'all, man. Hey, man, say, man, you already know what I'm finna say, man. It's the kid that did, not the kid that didn't. The reason why the sauce word was written, the master, the pastor, the him in Alaska to make the bread come faster. And I will be at the 2024 Hip Hop Fraternity Awards. I accept my nomination for album of the year. The kid that did spitting this game for a motherfucking lane, if you know what I'm saying, man. Salute the Pippi Ken, it's the Dripping Twin, and we're gonna be out there once again. Oi. Yeah, what's up? This your boy Lil J from Crown Mob, and we performing our greatest motherfucking hit, Nup If You Buck, at the HHHF Ugly Money Hip Hop Awards. You dig what I'm saying? We coming out. Pippi Kane gonna be there. Lil J gonna be there. Crown Mob gonna be there. T.I. and others. Y'all come up. Y'all pull out the whips. All y'all ladies come up. Be sexy. We gonna have some great fun. It's gonna be lit. You know what I'm talking about? Eight times, stay down. Say what's up, man. It's your boy Charleston White, man. I'm just letting y'all know I accept my nomination for coming over the year with the Hip Hop Fraternity and the Ugly Money. I'm sorry, uh, Nietzsche Ugly Money Comedy Award. What's up, my nigga? Oh, you see it? Yeah, yeah, you see it. Black jewelers. Yeah, yeah, black jewelers. Yeah. <laughs>